Bundling around the well training in different weapons and they've played in different weapons but due to the We have Colonel J.B. Rukundo, the third daughter. We have Colonel Wangota Wanda, the CIO, and who has organized uh, most of the uh, activities we are seeing here. We have what we have been calling dynamic sitting and what comes up in the run echo. It is it is an So they have already secured the VIP, they are moving him to the where the vehicle is. to change it. He has been missing that one. Whether <laughs> the enemy is not recognized if at all they are with the enemy or not. Yep. Section 2, my group. Band! Yamo, sir. Yamo. Section 1. I was in Congo. Yes. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Your friend has stopped here, look. No, my dad, you're a local. Councillor uh, of Rubaga Parish, that is Ndaza Ali, Joseph Wamuko, uh, the St. Peter Church of Uganda, Rubaga here. Uh, we also have a number of senior officers here and all other personnel, those are ladies. Uh, the way for the music interlude, uh, this academy. Uh, Salam 
November 2007. It was commissioned in Cabambea. However, twenty seven trainees of these abandoned training on their own wish, while others were discontinued due to health problems and on the video display. A comprehensive list will accompany a written report to you, sir, about the categories. The course program and content consisted of two phases. The first phase was dedicated to instructors course level three, while the second phase of three months also was made for junior non-commissioned officers course. The modules that underwent, underwent included methods of instructions, skill and arms, minor tactics, field craft, leadership training, arms and food drills, map using, physical training, among others. The detection in both training area and infrastructure as you've seen the developments going on. And therefore, the number of trainees needs to be looked at in the way of the force expansion. Either we create infrastructure that can accommodate all of them, or maybe a new site can be identified, expand the institution in order for it to accommodate the growing number of requirements. The benefits of this training program can only be realized when these products are deployed. And so, for the graduates, when deployed, endeavor to exhibit the same qualities in performance in the areas that you have demonstrated before the guest hope honor today. Some of us are preparing to go home in retirement and who are the next generals if it's not you? So in whatever you are doing, start looking at yourself as tomorrow's general. That's when you will know the worth of being so thorough in whatever you are doing. Otherwise, if you think you are going to be late all the time, then you will be late. You will be led by somebody you never expected to be ahead of you. Notes, talking about enhancement, enhancement. First ask yourself, why should there be an enhancement? It should follow performance. So if you are not performing, what do we do? You just eat it for free? You, you should think of how best you should think of how best to work for the government and earn what is duly yours. Others will think, aha, uh -huh, I've got my money now. I'm a millionaire. I'm not supposed to be given orders. Then you will be pushing yourself into difficult moments. I will always talk about this financial discipline. If you want to live a better life, put most of the, of, of the money in uh, savings and shares. Don't consume all the money and you start wondering at the time of retirement. So think about this forthcoming uh, package and then you plan properly. Prepare for it. Don't look at it as an ambush. Ambushes are always very dangerous. <laughs>